It's all about the upsets in college basketball. Last week, three teams in the top 10 lost. Two of them lost twice in the same week. So as you could imagine, it's going to be a lot of shakeup in my top 20 for this week. But how about the classic game last week inside of Allen Fieldhouse? The top-ranked Oklahoma Sooners against the Kansas Jayhawks. KU prevailed in triple overtime. So I think you know who's probably going to be number one. How far do OU drop, though? Do they just go to two, or do they go behind Maryland, who's playing some of the best basketball in the country right now? Melo Trimble is just unbelievable. That game-winning shot against Wisconsin on the road was just clutch, to say the least. Very clutch. How about Duke? They've been very quiet this year. Nobody's talking about the defending national champs. They're quietly coming together. Coach K has them young boys playing well. Brandon Ingram has emerged as potentially the second best prospect behind Ben Simmons for the NBA draft. Kentucky, they're playing mm, not so well. But they have potential to get there at some point. But the John Calipari rumors could distract that team by him potentially going to the Nets. Then you got teams like Villanova, Xavier, just quietly winning ball games. North Carolina, they got Kennedy Meeks back. So that's huge, especially because Bryce Johnson doesn't have to carry that much of the load anymore down low. Kennedy Meeks can give you 15 and 10 a night. But enough of me talking. Check out my top 20 for this week. Let me know what you think. Tweet me at Mark A. Gunnels, Facebook, Mark A. Gunnels, Instagram. Everything's Mark A. Gunnels. And we could talk about my rankings. If you disagree, you agree. Let's talk about it. Thank you.